thought it seemed fun. <laughs> Are you recording this now? Please turn it off. Turn it off. I'm not doing it. Go on, go for a walk. No! Go. You're gonna hurt me, and now I'm gonna need these crutches. Stop! <laughs> this video is sponsored by Dog Is Good. In this video, I'm going to show you how my daughter and I built this Lego table, which we donated to the preschool at our local YMCA where she works. It has ample storage and is built strong enough to take abuse from a class full of kids. We bought six 10-inch base plates at the Lego store and the six bins at Ikea. We didn't have a plan ahead of time, we just designed the table around the dimensions of these products. We laid out the bins to determine the height of the table and then cut the legs to length. This wood is 5 quarter by 4 pine which measures 2.8 centimeters by 8.9 centimeters. Using a homemade tapering jig given to me by my friend Ed, I tapered the legs to be 1 inch less at the bottom. This step is completely optional if you don't have a table saw, but the tapered lines add a nice detail that help the table look less boxy. They're approximately 12 inches by 16 and a half. Next, we had to figure out the distance okay. between the legs. So 6 divided by 3. There needs to be 2, okay. 2, and 2, and 1.75, 1.75 on each side. Okay. Right now, looks to be right about 50 centimeters. I like centimeters better. Okay, I don't know why our government does not use centimeters. I get grief all the time from people in Europe. Anyway, okay, I shouldn't say Europe. The rest of the world uses metric. Now, for our rails. Right? Once we, we knew the length of the sides, three we figured out the lengths of the bin glides. Sets of rails that are gonna go across here and they're gonna be the tracks that these things ride on. I would say we go to 67 and, a half. 67 and a half centimeters and I'll just center it. I cut six pieces of one by two pine, 67 and a half centimeters long for the bin glides. I was excited to try my new pocket hole jig for the first time on this project. New tool. What? I got a new tool. I love new tools. This was a, this was Father's Day, I think. That was Christmas. <laughs> are you in bread? Yeah, I'm in Yes, you were. Okay, here we go. That is impressive, right? Yeah. 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 All right, let's give it a try. Here we go. That was nice. Look at that. All the top rails would be joined to the legs using pocket See? holes with glue and screws. Yeah, you like that? These boards are one by four pine, which is thinner than the legs, about one centimeter thinner. So I used a paint stick as a spacer to hold the rails back a smidge from the edge of the leg, just to give it a little bit more detail. A little wood glue on the ends with my finger, and then I used a bar clamp to hold the pieces in place while I drove two inch and a quarter screws. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a dog lover. Nothing compares to the joy I experience when I'm with them. And that's why I really clicked with this sponsor. Dog is Good is a dog lifestyle company that makes gifts and apparel for dog lovers like me. This one's my favorite. No, this one's my favorite, but, but they have tons, tons more on the website. website. And the logo? That's their dog, Bolo, whose name stands for Be On The Lookout. This travel water bottle has a ball bearing in the top so that the water only comes out when the dog licks it. What a great invention. So if you're a dog lover too, 
be sure to click on the link in the video description and check them out. I sanded everything before doing any more assembly. It would be too hard later. I used a random orbit sander with 120 grit on all sides and I made sure to soften every corner to be kid safe. I wanted to attach the bin glides with screws, but I didn't want to see them. So I used a countersink drill bit with a stop collar to drill pilot holes in the bin glides. I attached them with a little glue and a screw at each end. That bit set also has a plug cutter that cuts plugs exactly to fit the countersunk holes. You can buy pre-made plugs, but they look better if you make them from the same wood. A little glue on the end of each plug, then align the grain then gently hammer it in. With Becca holding the bins temporarily in place, I could measure the distance between the legs for the remaining two rails. This time I let Becca drill the pocket holes. A little more sanding, and a little singing and dancing. Someday. Then we followed the same exact process to attach the side rails to the legs, also holding them back the thickness of that paint stick. After cutting the bulk of the plugs with a handsaw, I sanded them flush so they practically disappeared. Next we laid out all the Lego base plates on a piece of 3 quarter inch birch plywood that would become the top. Then we ripped it to the proper width using the table saw fence. And then cross cut it to length using a homemade paddle cutter. Using a dado blade in the table saw, I turned ordinary one by two into a C-shaped molding that would make a frame around the plywood to dress it up and keep the Legos on the table. After carefully mitering the corners to the proper length, we put glue in the grooves and on the ends, and then clamped the edge band to the top. No screws or nails here, just glue that I let dry overnight. Day two. The next day, I removed the clamps and sanded all the edge banding, being sure to ease the corners. To prepare for the finish, I cleaned off the sanding dust with a tack cloth while Becca vacuumed the floor. While I cleaned off the base, Becca got started on the finish, a clear, non-toxic polyurethane. It was nice having a helper to do the first coat. Then I did a light sanding and two more top coats. After everything was dry, I marked lines on the top where I would screw it to the base. I drilled eight pilot holes on the lines and countersunk the head slightly. Then screwed the top to the base with two inch screws. I masked the edge molding around the top and sprayed the top and the bottom of the base plates with spray adhesive. I tried to lay all the base plates down at one time, but that was a disaster. I should have removed the tape first and placed them one at a time. With a lot of extra work we got the base plates in position without breaking any. I made sure they bonded well with a J roller. And finally we delivered the Lego table to Becca's preschool classroom. The kids love it. And they love that it was made by their teacher and her dad. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Dad, we're going to bed. 
All right.